Welcome to Backyard Biodiversity. Today I will present bryophytes, commonly known as mosses. Their life cycle in short, this is a gametophyte, haploid, from which grows a sporophyte, which is diploid. The sporophyte has a capsule. When it is ripe, its calyptra falls off, then its operculum falls off, allowing the peristome, teeth, to open in dry weather to liberate the spores. The spores fly away, germinate, and grow into new gametophytes. The male parts produce mobile gametes, which go fertilize the female parts. The diploid embryo grows into a sporophyte, and so on. Let's go look at some bryophytes. Unlike most vascular plants, bryophytes can completely dehydrate. But give them a little water, or even just humidity, and they will become green and active, again very quickly. This is sped up 20 times. Because of their ability to survive drought, bryophytes can grow on places like roadsides and walls, but you also find them in lawns, like here. Let's also take a little bit of this one. Bryophytes also grow on trees. Dry. The same species, wet. Isn't that beautiful? To identify bryophytes, you often have to look at them under a microscope. Let's take a little bit of this, that, and let's also make some sections. Focus. That is what moss spores look like. Spores from another moss species. Moss leaves are usually made out of a single layer of cells. I'll show you that with the leaf section. If I can find a good one. There is one. Well, it's not really great, but you can see that it's just one layer of cells. Here are some more pictures I took some years ago, with more time and a better equipment. Look, you can even see the chloroplasts some leaf sections. As you can see, except for the middle ridge, the leaves are made out of a single layer of cells. To finish, some more pictures of bryophytes I took in my backyard. Aren't mosses beautiful?